My father and stepmother have gone out of town. I can be all yours for three whole days. How wonderful! <laughs> Isn't she just the prettiest young thing today? Ah, and smartly dressed, too! But we mustn't give her too many compliments. We should put a hex on her. <laughs> Where's Alexander? He's down by the swimming hole, fishing. Oh, I'm surprised he's not fed up with it yet. What have you got there? Oh, performance theory, sweetheart, but well, the rest is either uninteresting or untrue, so. <laughs> or perhaps a little too theoretical. So tell me, hmm? what's the matter with my darling Tilden? How come he's so tiresome and surly? You know, he spends whole days out in the lake and I hardly ever see him. He's heartsick. Please, do recite some things from his play. You want me to? Mm. It's so uninteresting. Oh. oh, what could be more boring than this darling rural boredom? It's hot, quiet. Nobody lifts a finger. <laughs> I could be in my hotel room learning my lines in the city. What could be better? Oh, wonderful. <laughs> I know exactly what you mean. Are you still planning on going to town later? That is my plan. I'll be surprised if you make it. Oh? You're not borrowing my car. Oh. I've seen how you drive. Every time I come home, it's the same. Every time with these insults. Uh. Well, maybe I'll just go. Hmm? I never set foot in this place again. Well, I suppose now is when we beg her not to leave. No! Arcadia, don't! Come back! <laughs> Isn't it odd to see a famous actress annoyed and a philosopher reduced to reconciling such a trivial matter? And isn't it odd to see a best-selling author who has been translated into many foreign languages and is famous around the world spending the whole day fishing? did something nasty. <clears throat> I killed this seagull. I lay it at your feet. I'll soon kill myself in the very same way. What's wrong? You've changed towards me. Your eyes are cold. My being here makes you tense. Lately you've been so touchy. You talk in code. Symbols of some kind. This is obviously one too. But I don't understand. What's there to understand? You didn't like my play. You despise my ideas. You've, you've, you've started thinking of me as a nobody, as a mediocrity. I'm just too ordinary to understand you. Your coolness towards me is horrible. It's, it's like waking up one morning to realize the lake is suddenly dried up. I can't quite
quite imagine what it would be like to be 19 or 18. I really would like to be in your shoes, if just for an hour, to find out how your mind works. <laughs> I should like to be in your shoes. Why? To see how it would be like to be a famous writer. What is it like? I never thought of it. <laughs> I envy you. People's lives are so different. Yours is so interesting, brilliant, meaningful. Well, you're very young and very kind. Your life is so beautiful. All right, let me make a statement. Let's talk about my beautiful, brilliant life. All the time, I'm obsessed with one compulsive thought. I have to write. I have to write. I barely finish one story when I have to write.